New developments in a costly burglary in the Lower Ninth Ward that prevented high school students at Dr. King Charter from starting the new school year on time. WDSU reporter Andy Cunningham was there as those students returned to classes as police now continue to seek information into the thefts that shut down the school. Well, from the principal to students here, they are taking this in stride after vandals caused thousands of dollars in damages and delayed the start of their school year by one week. For high school students at Dr. King Charter School, today was their first day back to school, one week after their original start date. Officials say that's because thieves caused at least $10,000 in damages when they stole copper wiring from temporary trailers where the high schoolers attend classes before they move into their permanent classrooms early next year. The crooks broke the locks off power boxes where they cut and stripped the copper electrical cables, cables that powered the trailers, air conditioners, and computers, leaving school leaders no choice but to delay the start date by one week. Time students will now have to make up during the rest of the school year. The school's principal, Dr. Lindsay Moore, said he's still at a loss for words why someone would target the Lower Ninth Ward School. We are a difference maker. And uh, for someone not to care and not to think about the children and think about themselves, I really think it's, it's unforgivable. And now the school here from the principal, students and staff are turning their focus to the upcoming 10th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Obviously, this school and community directly impacted by that storm. Some of their students never able to return. Reporting on your side in the Lower Ninth Ward, I'm Andy Cunningham, WDSU News.